Hello all, Cass again, nurse practitioner at Titan Medical Center. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about appointments with Titan Medical Center, telemedicine, and in-office visits. So traditionally, you're probably used to coming to a clinic or a doctor's office and seeing a provider. That's the way to do it. And if you're local, you can definitely do that here at Titan Medical Center. Now, the best part about Titan Medical Center is we offer services for patients throughout the entire country via telemedicine. So if you have a computer or and or if you have a cell phone, you can simply go online, fill out your new patient paperwork, and one of the associates here at Titan Medical Center will reach out to you and schedule an appointment with myself or one of the physicians here at Titan Medical Center. And we can go line by line over your paperwork, your symptoms, your complaints, anything you're looking to improve, and we can have a plan put together specifically for you. So this can easily be done either in the office or telemedicine. So check us out. Give us a call 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? John here, and I'm with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And my best friend from childhood, Eric. What's up? What's up? Happening. So we are here at Armature Works down in Tampa, Florida, downtown, and it's New Year's Eve. So we're going to bust open 2023 to 2024 tonight with Marshmallow, courtesy of Pied Piper Productions. And you know, Titan Medical Center is going to be in the mix, like always, getting down, having a great time, enjoying life. It's all about balance. It's all about bringing the new year. So I hope you guys made your resolutions. And if you didn't make your resolutions, don't worry about it. Create an action plan, get those goals accomplished, and be a better you all the way through and through. So guys, come with us inside. Let's go enjoy ourselves. Kick this New Year's Eve butt and go into 2024 tight and strong all day, every day. Let's go. telling you 2024 we're officially in i got my beautiful wife here sharice hey guys my best friend eric what up though so we're down here we celebrated we brought it in marshmallow oh. killed it 
And I'll tell you. So what a night. We're going to finish it off. We're going to go home. Man, 2024 is our year. And we got the performer himself. He was the main performer. Look at that. Turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah. Wow, I want video. So, man, what a night. What a night. 2024, we brought it in. Two Titan style. We love you guys. And you know what? We're going to go have some more fun with Baby Marshmallow right now. We're going to go rock it. My dude right here. We're out. Get ready because Titan Medical Center is going to take 2024 to a whole new level and peak with therapies, with different events, and all the other stuff that comes along with it. So be prepared. Let's go. Baby Marshmallow style. Education is key. Knowing what you're going to put in your body is very important, right? So I see a lot of people out there that are going on these websites that are doing all kinds of ungodly things and selling all kinds of ungodly and untested products. And they're just taking them and injecting them and they're not even thinking about it. That this could be doing more damage to their body. This might not be what they thought they were putting in their body. It might not just work. And that's what you really needed to do. For example, peptides. So peptides come from U.S. licensed pharmacies through Titan Medical Center to their patients, right? But you have a lot of places that are selling peptides online. And then you have questions from patients to say, hey, listen, what's the difference between this and what you guys had? Because there's a big price difference. And the difference is this. Then when you go and search and you go to a research or chemical site and you want to buy peptides or whatever medications that they're selling, those are illegal to take. Those are not for human consumption. It's on every single vial that you will get from them, guaranteed. So at that point, you're not supposed to be doing it, but they insinuate that you can and you're buying it to do it. So at that point, you might not be getting what you think you're getting because most of those things that you're getting are coming straight from Russia, India, or getting made in a bathtub somewhere. So at that point, you really have no idea the sterility, the endotoxin of it, and what you're really getting inside the vial is going to help you out in real life scenarios. So be smart about it, right? I understand price differences in things and you wanna get the best possible price you can on any therapy or product out there, but don't put your health in jeopardy to do so. And that's what you're going to do. You're gonna play Russian roulette if you do something like that because you have no idea where it's coming from. These places don't even have storefronts or brick and mortars that you can look at. And like I said, it's not for human consumption in any research or chemical site. So you can take it and say, oh, well, I know it, it is, but they just have to put this on the label. But be smart about it because you have no idea where those therapies or products are coming from. So be smart, use your head, and make the right decision for your health. Watching a Titan Medical Center production. I don't want to just look better. I want to feel and perform better. That's why I choose Titan Medical Center to help me reach my health goals and to optimize my performance. Titan Medical Center is a concierge medical clinic, conveniently located in downtown Tampa's beautiful Channelside district. Our services range from identical hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, peptide therapies, vitamin and amino acid injectable therapies, and much more. Today, Jonathan Price, one of Titan Medical Center's patients, will have the opportunity to share his personal Titan experience. So I used to be with a hormone replacement clinic about nine years ago. Unfortunately, the day-to-day, -day, my energy was getting low. My therapies were coming in late. 
So I've known John and Sharice since middle school. I gave Sharice a call. John immediately reached out to me. We ended up doing my blood work and a lot of things were very off. I've noticed since day one of being with Titan Medical, the customer service difference, the speed of the therapies getting to me, uh, making sure that my health is number one and a priority to Titan. Uh, it's just a total experience. I feel much better. I have a lot more energy, a lot more confidence. I'm in the best shape of my life and I turned 38 this year. So if you wanna be in the best shape of your life, I'm telling you, gotta get it, reach out to Titan, get your blood levels checked and make sure you are at your optimal levels. So professionally, I ran health clubs for about 11 years as a vice president. I've also done construction sales out in the hot Florida sun. So you can imagine at my age, out in the heat, uh, you gotta be at a great health level. I mean, you gotta have energy, you gotta be able to move, you gotta have that endurance, and you gotta keep up with these younger kids who are trying to outperform us. Uh, but the beautiful thing is, is I feel like I'm 18 to 20 still. I think it's really a mindset, but more importantly, how you start inside that matters. So if you don't know what's going on inside your body, there's no way that you're gonna get the maximum of, of everything else. Um, so having my blood work done, getting in here, making sure that everything's at its highest point, uh, I feel like 18 and I perform at my best level every single day. So one of my favorite therapies has always been my favorite therapy is Hercules Potion. I know a lot of people think about injectables as like, oh no, it's so scary, but I'm telling you right now, it is the best pre-workout on the market, hands down. You can't go in any store and find this type of therapy. Immediate pump in about 20 minutes. I don't care if you lift a rep, if you've been in the gym, you're gonna feel some blood flow. And that's exactly the point in order to create lean muscle. Um, I love it. Uh, MK677, I personally have an appetite problem. I don't like to eat a lot. As soon as I take MK, immediately I'm able to get my meals down, which means nutrition. Um, I'm able to repair and rebuild the muscles that I've broken down. Think about nutrition going to your body for energy, resources, everything else. So because of the way I live my lifestyle, obviously it's infectious to others. Uh, I post how I feel on the internet, my workout videos, and a lot of people my age from high school are looking at me like, dude, how are you still doing it? How are you still staying at that level? You know, uh, a lot of the high school football players that I used to work out with now, unfortunately have families, kids, lives, and they kind of let themselves go. But I want you guys to know, you are the perfect candidate to call Titan Medical and get your life back. That's what I've been doing for the past eight years and that's why I feel and look why I do today. You wouldn't believe the actual endless people that message me on social media that I just simply refer over to Titan and the responses that I get back from the results they see immediately. So if that can happen for them, it can definitely happen for you. I highly recommend calling 727-389-3220. Get your blood work checked, but more importantly, get your life back because you deserve it. Blood work is so important. It tells what's going on on the inside and the outside. So if you want to look better, feel better, and perform better, the Titan Medical Center can help you nationwide set up your blood testing, full in-depth testing. Get set up today. Call or text 727-389-3220. So, if you're looking for a pump, you're looking for recovery, and you haven't been on Hercules Potion, you might want to start with Super Titan. Super Titan is one of our awesome therapies that involves five different components. Glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, and L-citrulline. Glutamine is going to help that recovery, right? That's almost every supplement you see over the counter and so on. Then you have arginine and L-citrulline. These are precursors to nitric oxide, vasodilation, pump, blood flow, right? Expanding veins. That's what we want to look good, right? Then you have lysine. It's going to help boost the immune function in your body. We know that doing any strenuous activity where you're lifting a car, you're lifting weights in the gym, can't put strain on the immune system and the body. This is going to help support that. Then you have ornithine. Ornithine is going to let you do more strenuous activity. Whether you're running a marathon outside or you're lifting a whole bunch of weights on the inside, we want you to do more reps or to be able to go longer. This should help you out, get a way better expedited result in your gains of whatever it is. So if you're looking for something as a starter, super tight might be the therapy for you. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. There's bl no blood work needed for this. So at that point, you guys will be good to go. Fill out your new patient paperwork, see the medical provider, and get on the way to being your own super tight in yourself.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my little beautiful wife right here every week are coming at you guys and bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and up your relationship to a whole new exciting level. And uh, if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because hopefully you'll get in one and you'll have all this information so you can pull it out and use it in a new relationship so it's a successful one. And you'll be doing at least your part to make it a successful one at that. So every week we come with some different topics. And, uh, you know, this last week was Thanksgiving and we had the family members over and stuff like that. So I think this topic was right along the lines of hitting home on me. And uh, I want to get your guys' take on it and make sure you guys know how it was on you. So let's get into the topic. Yeah. So how do you think that your parents influenced your view on relationships today, right? So how do you think they affected your relationship today? Do you think they affected your relationships today? Because, you know, obviously we're a product of our environment in some circumstances or situations, sure. scenarios. Um, and this goes a long, long way. But there are people that, you know, they go against what their environment is all the way through and through. They, they recognize they want better. Um, they and want they to do, do it different, right? Yeah, they want to do it different, you know. There's some people that have a great environment that don't do so good either. So there's not some one way that's right or wrong, okay, at this point. But, you know, this is, this is so true, right? And for me, you know, the example set. Now, my growing up as a child was good in some sense and bad in other senses. Now, relationship-wise, I don't think that it was the best example out there. And please, Mom and Dad, don't kill me about this. <laughs> but I'm only speaking the truth, right? Um, you know, growing up, I had loving parents on both sides, right? I had a brother and the whole nine. So it was really, really good. We weren't financially strapped or anything like that. So, you know, God bless us. Um, but, you know, the internal relationship of my parents, I, I don't think that it was the most healthy relationship. You know, obviously they were business partners, entrepreneurs and stuff like that. So you spent a lot of time inside and outside the house. But for them, you know, it was always like, you know, eruptions in World War Three. you know, where, you know, they're fighting with each other, they're cursing at each other. You know, when we did have, um, you know, holidays, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like all these things, like our house was center point to all the family members from both sides coming. And, you know, even in between there, the lines of the family members, there was conflict, you know, almost at every single holiday that I attended. You know, and yeah, there was, it's common for a lot of families. Do you, so it's common for families to have eruptions at, at all their holidays. I feel gatherings? like this is a very, it's actually, people don't speak about it, right? Because it's embarrassing sometimes. But I do feel like at a lot of, because I was in the same position. There were, you know, it was like all happy. And then towards the latter part of the day, there was something that was always brought up that, yes, caused an eruption in yeah, the day. Conflict, eruption, or, you know, maybe some things that, you know, didn't, People weren't over before they came to that visit, you know, mm -hmm. and then that's where it all had to get handled. Um, so I mean, you know, I've been I've been into a, in a lot of situations my whole life. So my thing was was, you know, I took the good traits from my parents, and I recognized the bad traits, and I recognized how I didn't want that for my family when I had a family. I didn't want my son or daughter, whoever it was at that point in time, to go through some of the different things that I went through when I was growing up because it didn't make me feel good in all ways, shapes, and forms. You know, when I used to go over other people's houses and I used to see the way that their parents used to interact with each other, it was a, a lot different, you know? And so, you know, it was normal for me to be growing up in that situation and it was normal to see all these things around me. But when I went to other places, you know, and I seen the way that they were interacting with each other, I felt like the odd man out. I felt like, man, like, why can't I have this? Why can't my parents get along? Or, you know, why, why can't they interact like this? Because that's not the environment that I'm going back to. So, you know, it was, it was you know, it was, it's, it's a learning experience all the way through and through. Whatever you do in life is always gonna shape you, mold you, and become who you are. But you can fight some of these different things and not make it happen for yourself in the future. So if you recognize the bad traits or the things that are going on or have went on in your past, you can utilize those things to hopefully, you know, you learn from your past and you don't commit those same bad mistakes in the future for you or your family. 
And uh, you're the example for your family, right? Whether you're a mom, whether you're a dad, whatever it is, even the grandparents, right? Cousins, uncles, you guys are all family and you guys will mold the younger generations that are coming through your family. They will see what's going on with you and they will try to emulate yes. these things and they might not think that they wanna do it and they fall right into the root and the routine of what happened before with you or with somebody else that's in your family that they're watching and they're, they're using this as an example. Like they think this is okay. So Well, you know, it's normalcy for them, right? Yeah, it's normalcy. Exactly. Right, it's 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 a, it's normal for them, you know. And to be specific, you know, bringing up maybe old things that's happened before that's caused arguments, and that's kind of what it is, you know. Even when I met John, I told him the same thing, and we ironically had some very very similar upbringings where our parents would argue in front of us, and they would scream and yell, and there, I mean, I I wasn't there for his matches between his parents, but with my parents. It was World War Three as well, you know, and it wasn't just screaming and yelling. I mean, there was things being thrown, some food outside the door. I mean, I mean, what next level type of fighting? You know, right. there's one thing to have an argument. Right. And I'm sorry, mom, in advance. Um, and I'm sure my dad's watching me from above, so I'm sorry to him too. But you know, there's 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 just regular fighting, and then there's like next level right. fighting of you know just grabbing things, throwing things, breaking things. And you know, obviously you don't want to set that example, like John was saying, right. for the little ones because they are watching you. Right. They're watching everything you do. Right. So this goes for the same thing with the with the family gatherings, yeah. is that this is your time, and I hate to put it this way, but let's be realistic, and I'm always real with you guys. This is the time to, you know, if you did have a problem with somebody, let's just say a family member, this is the time to mend it, right? You're supposed to come together and mend it. Now, if let's just say somebody's at this place and you don't really care for that person, this would be the time to fake it. Yeah, right. you're gonna fake it because you want to get through the holiday and make everybody else happy. You know, these holidays like you know Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that. It is supposed to be times of joy, right? right? Happiness, joy. Making memories. Making memories. Positive memories. Positive memories. Yeah. Not, you know, yelling across the table or argument across the table or bringing something up in front of, you know, other family members or whatever it might be. This is not the time for that, right? So when me and John met, one of the things we made a promise to each other is that we were never going to fight in front of our kids, mm -hmm. you know? We're never going to argue in front of Peter. You know, we don't want that for him because we don't want the hostile environment for him. Mm -hmm. We don't want him to have that same environment with his wife and his children growing up because he's going to do whatever is happening now, whether he wants to or not, he's going to it's going to gather and he's going to become that individual. And it's going to have to take him just like John did and myself to say, wait, hold on. There is this one portion of my life and one portion of what my parents did that I don't want to do. And then you have to you have to fix it, change it and change mm -hmm. that going forward so it changes for all the generations going forward. That's right. Cuz remember, it's not just your children, it's their children and their children's children and so forth, right? And we can't say that these generations are getting any easier to train. So, it, we, we might as well make it easy now and try to make it, you know, as, as, as positive as possible. All right, you set the right standard, you put the right example out so that they understand like, this is the way it should be done. Um, and then you talk to them about it too as well. I mean, you know, that's another thing. You know, you talk to your kids, you talk to your loved one about it, your partner, you know, maybe you've had these bad experiences in the past and you vocally tell them like, hey, listen, like I don't want this in our relationship, right? Like, right when you get into it. So if you guys aren't in a relationship, you know, you start talking about all these different things, uh, the do's, the don'ts, and, you know, things that are like, you know, deal breakers, you know, this could be something you bring up. If you're mm -hmm. already in a relationship, right? You're gonna have one or two situation scenarios. The first situation is, is that person agrees with you totally and everything's been good since the start. The second situation is you already fell into some of these bad things. Now, what are you gonna do to get out of it? That's when you really gotta talk to them. You gotta put an action plan into play, per se, right? I always have my action plans, plans right? Because <laughs> you know we can talk a good game and we can say we're sorry and all these good things, but what actions are you gonna do to make a change? Right. And actions really speak louder than words, right? You like that always, saying. Always, yeah. That, it's so I do true, say that right? very often. People can tell you, I love you. No, no, let me see your actions because your actions are going to show truly me. Tell don't me. tell me. Exactly. Show you, not tell me. So, you know, these are different things that you want to do. Now, you, you know, I would challenge you guys to really think about 
your past, right? And your childhood possibly. And, you know, if it was good, was it bad, I'm sorry, you know, but revisit that and, and really think about what you went through and think about has it affected the way that you get into relationships and how your relationship is today? And then are there things that you might want to change because now you're realizing like, oh my God, like I'm just like my dad or I'm just like my mom or just like this relationship. Like this is not what I want to be with right. or this is not what I want to get into, right? So, I mean, you know, you should, you should really look at that because people do follow trends too. So when you get into the trend of, let's say, you know, people that have, have abusive parents or abusive dads, girls, they fall into the trend of going to abusive men because that's all they know. Well, they think that's that that's, that's they think that that's normal, right? right? So you saw that your mom was constantly screamed at, yelled at, maybe beaten or whatever it might have been. So then you get into a relationship, it's happening to you at this point. And instead right. of you saying, hold on, wait, this is, I'm not going to accept this you end up accepting it thinking that it's normal because you grew up like that. Right. So, and it's not okay, right? It's not okay. You, you want to be able to treat women with respect, right? And the same thing goes for a guy. Just because we're women doesn't mean that we're the ones that only get respect and that's how it goes. Respect is a two-way street. You need to respect him, he needs to respect you. That's how it's supposed to go. So sure. it's, 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 it's important. It's important yes. that you guys are implementing these things and you guys are recognizing it and that you guys are able to pick it out, point it, and then fix it mm -hmm. so that way you know you could be better the whole point right and we say this all the time right and i know john he knows what i'm gonna say right now but the whole point is that every generation is supposed to get better and you we always tell peter he's like oh you know i did this better than you and i'm getting better at this and yada 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 you know the 13 year old teenage boy talk right so, you know, I'm like, listen, the whole point is for you to be better. Right. Like, I want you to be better than me. I want you to do more than I do. I want you to make more money than me. Yes. I want you to have a better education than I did. Yes. I want you to have things that I didn't have. I want you to be able to provide your kids with everything that maybe I couldn't provide you. It's, a, it's all supposed to be getting better and better and better. It's that's not right. supposed to degrade over the years. That's right. It's supposed to get better. Only that's better. right, and that's that's how it really should be. And you should want better for you. You should want better for your family, your kids, um, and the whole thing. I mean, for your partner especially. So, you know, really look at yourself. Look and evaluate your relationship. If there's things you guys want to change, then change them. And do it now. Don't say, "Oh, I'm gonna wait till next week," or "I'll see how it goes." Change it now, right? Have the communication with your partner. So, I hope you guys have liked this show. Um, and, you know, every week we're bringing you guys great tips and tricks to help you guys out. And, of course, if you guys are not feeling, looking your best or feeling your best, <laughs> then Tight Medical Center is going to be able to help you guys out. So, if you guys want to call or text us, we can help you guys out feeling good, looking good, and performing your I best. I mean, listen, Sunday. if you guys are having the mood swings, right? I mean, come on. Maybe you need your hormones checked. Get older, checked. right? You're not maybe <laughs> liking the way that you're looking, you know? In the you mirror, might need to get your weight. hormones checked. You get can some do blood loss, do all types of different things. <laughs> So, guys, make sure you guys are tuning in to us every week, 11 a.m. on ABC. And DVR it if you can't watch it live. And if you can't do either one of those, go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, watch all these great episodes and a lot of other cool content that we got for you guys. We'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. I appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And we're out. Thanks, guys.